I have a piece of paper here in my little bag with the balloon, tissue papers, string, and some glue dots and a straw. All right, you need that. You need two chairs or two, you'll see, two chairs and you will need some scissors and your favorite markers or you can use the colored pencils that we provided or crayons, anything works to color. Get all that stuff and meet me back here. Let's draw our rocket. I'm just putting on a canvas so you can see here on an easel. And then um, I like to use black or, but use any color you want. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is draw this kind of banana shape, just like this. This is gonna be the base of the rocket. All right, go ahead and do yours. Okay, the next step that we're gonna do, we are going to be adding some stripes. I'm just gonna add two lines here, two lines here. Perfect, go ahead and add your stripes. And feel free to pause this video at any time if I'm going too fast. There's no rush, always press pause if we're going too fast. Okay, now we need the jet packs. The jet packs are gonna be kind of a similar banana shape like this one. And we're gonna put them on like this. I think they kind of go in like this a little bit at the bottom. Okay, go ahead and draw your two jet packs. <laughs> All right, have you got your jet packs? All right, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna put some stars, cause it's a space rocket. This is hard to do upside down, actually. I'm just putting some stars all along mine. You can decorate yours however you like. Okay, so here is my rocket, the outline of my rocket. Now all I have to do is color it in so it's nice and bright and colorful. Okay, so press pause and finish drawing your rocket. Okay, here is my rocket. Do you see how it's not perfect? It's not perfectly straight. And real rockets are usually silver, but with art it's really fun because you can make your rocket however you like and it does not need to be perfect. Okay, so the next step we are going to do is cut out our rocket. Get yourself a pair of scissors and cut all the way around the rocket so that it's cut all the way out. Okay, go ahead, press pause and cut out your rocket and let's see what we're gonna do with it. Here is my rocket all cut out. I'm ready to launch. We just have to add one more thing on the end. So as you can see, there's some tissue paper here. Pick a color that you want your rocket streamers to be. So we're gonna make tissue paper streamers coming out by taking our paper. I'm gonna use blue and we are going to attach it like this. How we're gonna do that, let's use our glue dots. So for your glue dots, peel it open like that. I just use my fingers, peel it off. Put one here on one side like this. And then get the other one on this side here. And then you stick your paper on like this. Okay, go ahead, press pause, and add your paper on the back. All right, what, now that your paper is added on, we are going to cut this into strips. 
so that these will fly in the wind when we launch our rockets. Just like this, go all the way across so it's all cut up, okay? Go ahead, press pause and press play when you're done. Okay, mine is all done. I'm gonna save these tissue papers for something else. And now I'm gonna attach my straw to my rocket. So what we are gonna do, just so you have a better understanding of what's about to happen, is we are gonna be tying a string from one space to another space. I'm gonna use my trees, because they're here. You can either use two chairs, pillars, you can use shelves as long as they're tacked down. Make sure a parent or adult helps you with this step to make sure you are attaching your string to something safe, okay? So we're gonna be putting the string through here and the balloon's gonna be launching it. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so let's attach the straw to do that. If your straw is long, it only needs to be a little bit I like this long. It can even be shorter or longer. I like to have mine about this size. It's about the size of my ear, maybe a little longer. And we are going to go peel off another glue dot. So I peeled off this sticky glue dot and I'm putting it in the middle of my rocket. And then I'm gonna get another one and put it kind of next to that just so it's extra sticky, just like that. See, I put my two glue dots on like that. And then I'm going to stick my straw on, like this. Press it in so it's nice and sturdy, it's not gonna fall off. All right, now we want to attach our balloon to the other side of the straw. And we need where you blow into the balloon, the opening of the balloon, to be on the same size side as your fluttery things. So we are going to put another glue dot here, two glue dots here, and we are going to attach our balloon like that, okay? So let me peel off my glue dots. Like that, putting it on the other side of my rocket. And I'm gonna stick my balloon on with the opening of the balloon facing down and hanging off the edge like this. Okay, so press pause and get your rocket so that there's a straw on top and then the balloon on top, okay? And then press play again when you're ready. All right, so now you have that attached. Let's untie and open our long string. So this string is really long. We're gonna have to just be very careful untangling it. I just kind of loosely, loosely pull it apart. If you need help with this, ask for a little help, but do your best. If you get a little knot in it, it's not a big deal. There we go. Okay, so this part can be a little tricky. You might need like a toothpick or a skewer to stick it in, but you want to thread your string through the straw like a bead. So I usually start at the top and push it down and slowly start fishing it in like a fishing line. Oh, it gets stuck sometimes. That's another reason why it's good to have a shorter straw, because then you have less straw to have to put your string through. Let's see, if you keep going, it will go through. Mine is almost all the way through. There we go. So you put it on kind of like a necklace, like this. All right, go ahead and press pause and meet me back here when you're done. So now you need to find two objects. It could be two chairs. I usually like to use two chairs. They're nice and sturdy, and if they fall over, they won't usually fall from high, but uh, you can use different things. Try to find what's best after I show you what we're gonna do. So we don't want our rocket to fall off, so we're gonna hold this one end, and while we hold one end, we are gonna take the other end and tie it to something that we can reach with our mouth because we're going to be blowing up the balloon. So this tree is perfect for me. I'm going to tie this string to here. Tie it in a nice knot. You can make your uh, rocket launch line as far and as long as you want. Mine is just going to be between these two trees, kind of short, just so you can see easily what I am doing. So 
So I've attached one end to this side, and now let's go and attach it to our other side here. You can tie it up or you can tape it up, it's up to you, whatever's easiest. Just make sure your string isn't so tight that it pulls down the tree. See if I pull this, my tree might fall down. So we need to make sure we're very careful. We want it to be nice and straight, but not too tight. All right. Okay, mine is ready to go. Let's test it out. So when you're, you can do it in the middle because it's just easier. Move our little frilly things out of the way and let's blow up our balloon. Okay, I have my balloon blown up. Once you blow all the air in it, like that, close it with your fingers, don't tie it shut, just close it with your fingers, bring your balloon rocket back, and let go. Three, two, one, blast off! and your rocket will go flying. See, if I had a much longer string, it would have went really far. So I think I'm gonna try this again in a different area. But you guys go ahead and give your balloon rocket a try. If your glue dots aren't sticking so good, just grab some tape, that works just as good. And if you make two balloon rocket lines, you can even race. So go give it a try, let me know how it goes, and I hope you have lots of fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.